we would like to say welcome to all of us who are joining us for worship tonight in the Ayas uh, Church, and there is uh, thousands of us who are also watching live uh, as it were tonight. We would like to say happy Sabbath to you, and God bless you, and for the audience that is here, there is nothing wrong to say Shabbat Shalom to the person next to you. Would you do that? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. God bless you, and we're excited to be here, and um, it's a privilege uh, to worship and to praise the Lord, particularly in Ayas, because we, we're all busy, and uh, when Sabbath comes, we praise the Lord. Um, we'd like to uh, transcend into a brief discussion here. We're going to be interviewing my friends. My name is Guizo. I come from the Republic of Zimbabwe, and I'm a student in seminary here in Ayers. I'm going to invite my friends over here to introduce yourselves. Tell us where you come from and um, your name, obviously, and what you're doing here in Ayers. My name is Yoshi Fujita. I'm from Japan. Uh, I'm a student at uh, Theological Seminary. I'm taking MA and MAR. Good evening. My name is Mary Fujita. I'm from Japan. I'm a missionary. I'm, I'm from 1,000 Missionary. Thank you so much um, for that brief introduction about yourselves. And thank you and welcome to this, to this program tonight. And thank you for agreeing and accepting to participate in this discussion. I move over to you. Uh, tell us where you come from, and who you are, how many children do you have, and, and you know, uh, let us know who you are tonight. Okay, my name is Anna. I'm from Brazil. Uh, we don't have children <laughs> yet. Uh, uh, I'm an engineer, uh, actually, in the beginning. Uh, and now I'm, I'm here. We, I'm here for studying English and studying public health. Hello, happy Sabbath, everyone. My name is Junior. I'm also from Brazil, like my wife, uh, and we are here to study, and I will study in MDiv, and my background is from design and marketing. Thank you so much uh, for letting us know who you are and what you're doing here. You know it's very possible for, for you to stay here, and people don't really know, at least some, where you come from, what do you do, because we just meet, you know, in the corridors and that is it. We exist for mission as a church. We are known for mission and we are known, even in the past, in some parts of the world, our high schools were known as, um, uh, you know, they would say Silang Adventist Mission. And they would say, I mentioned, you know, mission schools in my home country, they will say, so Lucy, mission. So we are a people who are known for mission. And it's a privilege. We have a couple here. We have served as missionaries. And they represent many of us who are probably sitting uh, here tonight. And um, a lot more who are watching us tonight who have served as missionaries. And we also have people who have served not as missionaries, but they are workers. Uh, in the church. And uh, my brother and sister here represent those. They, they are not missionaries. They are, they, are, they, are, they are workers for the Lord. And um, I want to hear from you. I'll begin uh, with the Fujitas here. Um, where have you served outside your home territory, Japan? And 
Tell us briefly and let our audience here tonight know why. What motivated you uh, to serve beyond the borders of your, of your beautiful country of Japan? Uh, I was serving as the uh, pastor in Japan. Uh, I was assigned to uh, the Kochi Prefecture. It's uh, the southwest bound of the Japan, uh, where it is attacked by the flood this time. Um, and uh, also, it was a place where really strict Buddhism area. And I had really a lot of challenging there. But I have you know, learned a lot of things from the, my experience in the Wantada Missionary Movement. And uh, I kept to uh, bring, bring the message of our church. And many people received them. And they opened their heart to receive the, you know, our messages to convert the Adventists. So um, I wanted to bring the real hope message to the people uh, who believe in the other God or, you know, uh, hope, hopeless people. So that was my... A passion, uh, to, passion to, to, to serve others. And I can see your wife wants to add a few footnotes to what you have said. Um, let us know. Uh, share with us. We have talked before. And I know you have been part of a movement here uh, in the Philippines. And um, why? I'm, I'm assigned um, Amadeo Salaban Church in Silan Cavite, near, near around uh, Ayas. Um, I have many experience there, but all the time, God brings the people um, who are willing to know about God. So that uh, every time I feel that that's the, the motivation for me. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we sincerely want to appreciate uh, my dear friends from Japan and for your willingness to serve um, in the Philippines, you know, as it were. But let me cross over to... Um, my friends here, you are not missionaries. We, we've talked about that. And, um, but you have served um, in other territories. Um, where was that? And uh, for now, what motivated you to say, we will go um, and, and be part of, you know, a team that, that is serving the Lord? Um, would, would you share with us briefly and let our audience uh, hear what you have to say? Uh, first of all, I, I'd like to say that our country is a little different than Japan. Uh, it's supposed that are a free country, but even a free country, you have many problems about Christianity, and about, especially when we are Adventist. And after many problems that we have there, we... We were, or we were in our, um, our comfort zone. And this comfort zone starts to, to incommode us, our heart. And we start to pray to God and ask God, okay, God, we are in our comfort zone here, but we know that is not your, your desire for our life. So we start to ask which way we need to walk now. And after years of praying, uh, God showed us that, is very, that we should live from Brazil. And they opened one way in the United States and then went there in a one school. And that school we start to, that we can learn about uh, lifestyle and a good lifestyle because we know that is a good way to share the, the love of God. And after there, in, in there, during we are living there, we start to know more about many countries. So after this, we decided to go, to move to Jordan. And then we went to Jordan and we lived there during one and a half years. But the first point that touched our heart because we were in comfort zone. And we believe that it, it situa this situation is not 
God desires. Thank you. Uh, you talked about comfort zone. Did you find yourself missing certain things um, that you are accustomed to in your home country uh, while away? And what, what were those things that you feel like, hey, I, I'll, I'll catch the next flight and, and go back home? What, what would those be um, in your experience? Oh, in, in my personal experience, I, I'm working in a good company as an engineer. Uh, everybody in my team knows about my religion, about my faith. Uh, everybody respects me. I didn't have problem with Sabbath or something like this. Uh, and many times I had the opportunity to share with them about Jesus, uh, the love of Jesus. And uh, sometimes I, I look at my boss and the manager there. They worked in that company for many years, like 30 years, uh, 25 years. And I ask God, God, this is your plan for me. Be here in the same company uh, with the same people for a long time, like these people. And I start to pray and ask God if that life is his desire for my life. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're running out of time, and I'm going to uh, ask you one question. And I just want you to give, um, what would you say to somebody listening tonight, right here in Ayos, um, as a word of encouragement, should they uh, have the privilege or opportunity to be invited to serve outside um, their, their own home country, to go and serve. So what would you say? What word of encouragement? Just one word. What would you say to them to consider this seriously and to take up the task? Um, I believe uh, the missionary work is so wonderful because we can see the person will change their heart. We will be a witness. Like uh, before that they come to church, they don't know about the God, they don't know about the Bible, but once they open the Bible, they, we can change their life through God's power. So we can see that. So, that's so the, the result, what you uh, see, the transformation, the change, yes. Yes. It brings satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Do you have one, one word as, as, as a word of encouragement to anybody who is contemplating to go and serve as a missionary? What would that be? I feel like I'm thinking, should I go? Should I not? Why should I go? What would you say to me to convince me to go or to encourage me to go? What would that be? Oh. Please. I would like to say, please pray passion passionately. Passionately, yes. Passionately. Because um, God... Uh, listening your prayer all the time and God will open the door to be a missionary. So I hear you say this is time for you to use your knees, commune with the Lord, mm -hmm. asking him to reveal his will mm -hmm. about this that is coming before you. Mm -hmm. The element of prayer, conviction, the results that come out of service. This is beautiful. It's a motivating factor. Let, let me come to you. We, we're, we're closing now. What would you say to encourage somebody to join in and work? Not necessarily as a missionary, but just as a worker. What, what would that be? Uh, in one word, it's very hard to say. But <laughs> if I use just one word, uh, my word is go. Just go. Because you need to just Trust in God and go. Trust the Lord. Yeah. Don't remain thinking about it, yeah. talking about it, consulting about it, <laughs> discussing about it. Stand and go. 
and serve the master. Yeah, maybe junior, <laughs> junior, okay, I, need, I need to change my, the word. Um, you, you told, uh, don't think about, if he, you start to put in one list the, the good points and the bad points, maybe you change your mind. Uh, God provides. The Lord the will Lord provide. You provide. Yes. Thank the you. The Lord will open the ways for you. Thank you so much. I'm going to invite uh, Professor Mora, uh, Prof. Mora, to come and join us and offer a word of prayer for the men and women who are serving the Lord in various capacities, in various um, roles, different territories here in the Philippines, in Asia, beyond the territories of Asia. There are people who have dedicated themselves. As we talk right now, there are people who are serving. And while we are here, you never know. You may receive a call to go and serve the master. And may this discussion tonight be a source of encouragement to you as an individual to be willing to serve and to do that which the Lord calls us to do. We exist for mission. We are supposed to be instruments in the hands of the Lord to bring more to Jesus. And um, I'll invite you. I, I don't see uh, Prof. Morak. Um, won't you bow your heads as we, as we pray together? Let us, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you tonight for being our master our Lord, and our Creator. What a privilege to save you, Lord. What a privilege to be called your children. There are thousands of people who have left their home countries. Tonight, as we speak to you, who are serving you. Sometimes they confront with difficult situations, challenges that are so trying. Tonight, we pray, may your spirit Bless your people. Wherever they are, give them grace to move on. And there are those of us who are contemplating and thinking, should we join in and be part of the mission force? We pray that you'll do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Thank you for all of us tonight. And even as we transcend to listen to your servant, uh, Dr. Rosario, talk to us. We pray that we may hear you. Speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.